Pamela Gay, and I am here to read another read aloud in celebration of Richmond Hill, Georgia's Wellness Week. Today, I've chosen the read aloud, The Hungry Thing, by Jan Slepian and Ann Seidler, and the pictures are by Richard E. Martin. The Hungry Thing. One morning, a hungry thing came to town. He sat on his tail. He pointed to a sign around his neck that said, Feed me. The townspeople gathered around to see the hungry thing. What would you like to eat? asked the townspeople. Schmancakes, answered the hungry thing. Schmancakes, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Here's a picture of the hungry thing with the sign that says, Feed me. Why, dear me, said the wise man, schmancakes, that's plain, are a small kind of chicken that falls with the rain. Of course, said a cook, schmancakes I've read are better to eat when you stand on your head. I think, said a little boy, you're all very silly. Schmancakes sound like, fancakes sounds like pancakes to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up. Then the hungry thing pointed to his sign that said, Feed me. What would you like to eat? asked the townspeople. Tickles, answered the hungry thing. Tickles, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Why, dear me, said the wise man. Tickles, you know, are curly-tailed hot dogs that grow in a row. Of course, said the cook, tickles taste yummy, and you giggle and laugh with tin in your tummy. I think, said the little boy, it's all very clear. Tickles sounds like pickles to me. And they gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up. Here's a picture of him eating the pickles. He's underfed. Have some bread, said a lady dressed in red. It seems to me he'd like some tea, said a fellow up a tree. A bit of rice might be nice, said a baby sucking ice. The hungry thing just shook his head and pointed to his sign that said, Feed me! The townspeople tried again. What would you like to eat, asked the townspeople. Feet loaf, answered the hungry thing. Feet loaf, cried the townspeople. How do you eat it? What can it be? Why, dear me, said the wise man. Feet loaf, let's see. It's a kind of shoe pudding that grows in a tree. Of course, said the cook. Feet loaf tastes sweet, and it's eaten by kings when they dine in bare feet. I think, said the little boy, you all ought to know. Feet loaf sounds like beet loaf, sounds like meat loaf to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate it all up. He again pointed to his sign and said, Feed me! What would you like to eat this time? asked the townspeople. Hookies! answered the hungry thing. Hookies, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Hookies, said the wise man, are known in far lands as a special spaghetti to eat holding hands. Hookies, said the cook, are a party dish to serve to a guest if he isn't a fish. I think, said the little boy, that it's all very simple. Hookies, Sounds like lookies, sounds like cookies to me. The townspeople gave the hungry thing some, and he ate them all up. Then he got to his feet. He smiled. He patted his mouth on a line of laundry. He turned around three times. He 
Is it true? He's all through, said a lady dressed in blue. Let's all try to say goodbye, said a man with a can. Come again, said some men. But the hungry thing just sat down again. And he pointed to his sign that said, Feed me. What do you want to eat? asked the townspeople. Golly pops, said the hungry thing. Golly pops, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Oh, dear me, said the wise man. Golly pops are new. They are cereal shaped like toys and sugar coated too. Children, said the cook, buy them by the dozens and trade off the box tops with classmates and cousins. I think, said the little boy, you all ought to hear. Golly pops sound like, dolly pops sounds like lollipops to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up and he pointed to his sign again. Oh, please, said the townspeople. We've been here all day. Isn't there a quicker way? I think, said the little boy, that there is. Have some noodles, the little boy asked the hungry thing. And the hungry thing shook his head. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. I meant to say foodles. And the hungry thing smiled and ate them all up. <gasps> hmm. Just look, said the cook. Let's all try, was the cry. So they all got busy. Have some smello. They gave him some jello. Have some thread. They gave him some bread. Have a banana. They gave him a banana. The hungry thing ate and ate. He looked very, very full. Is there anything more we can give you? The townspeople wanted to know. The hungry thing politely covered a hiccup and he thought for a while and then he said, boop with a smacker. Boop with a smacker? Boop with a smacker? Is that, the townspeople asked. The boy whispered to the wise man. The wise man whispered to the cook. And the cook gave the hungry thing soup with a cracker. The hungry thing ate them all up. He smiled. He got to his feet. He wiped his mouth on the cook's hat. And just as he left, he turned his sign around. In big letters, it said, thank you. And that is the hungry thing. If you can rhyme words the way that the hungry thing wants you to rhyme words, guess what? You are headed toward being phonemically 